it's not running on a full charge. Bring me some of the just the seed left in the and power. And there'll be cats in your pocket. Welcome, Off you go, Grey Garden, darling. Go. Just this is Commonwealth's first and only hydroponic facility run entirely by robots. There's not even one person here? That's right, darling. We are entirely self-sufficient, with no need for human guidance. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making, a testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. What became of Dr. Gray? Like so many others, he died in the war. It was a terrible loss. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? The water? Oh, it's ghastly. That's what it is. Simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Ferrum 95. Our unit has sustained casualties and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. <sighs> Automated message repeated. Hailen and reconnaissance squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. Our unit has sustained casualties and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Did the Minutemen send you? Yes, I'm here to help. What's going on? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone, stealing our food and supplies and threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Any unit transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. 
Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Automated message repeated. This is Scribe here, reconnaissance squad Gladius, to any unit in transmission range. Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. business here I'm just trying to survive out here like everyone else the way you charged in and engaged those ferals I find that a bit difficult to believe are you from a local settlement I'm from vault 111 Good. most people wouldn't admit to such a thing I appreciate your honesty if I appear suspicious it's because our mission here has been difficult since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you, really? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. 
I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep-range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Halen, take Reese inside and find his wound. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your work. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> you're all hard, dog. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. Call it and dance. You ready to move? You ready to move out? Ready? Outstanding. Follow me and try not to lag behind.
armed jet systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security, so we'll head into the front. Looks like we missed the party. You're making a foolishly hasty assessment. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. Sensor reading. Combat initiated. Whoever or whatever you are to know you have to disappear. Targeting sensors fully operational.
course ahead. Should be our final stop. your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core, but it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now and find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. Detected. Engine core is offline. Restored. Thermal engine fuel primed and standing by for command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. Three. Efficiency rating of 96.7%. Sensor anomaly. Hostile light bomb.
take the service elevator to the surface. Paladin. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive and the transmitter's been secure. There's no need to scrutinize the details. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I don't know. It's a big decision, so I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck. <laughs>